Well, the Pennsylvania House gave its final approval to legislation that would make some sweeping changes to the way the state conducts elections. Supporters say the changes will give voters more confidence in the election process. WFMZ's Allie Reed is in the studio now to break it all down. Allie, good morning. Good morning, Hasiel and Eve. Yes, some of those changes will require voters to provide identification each time that they vote, not just the first time at a new polling place, like currently required. Now, the bill also calls for allowing for earlier in-person voting and requiring signature checks for mail-in ballots. The Pennsylvania House voted 110 to 91 to pass the Voting Rights Protection Act. The legislation would make some big changes to the state's election process. It would allow counties to begin processing mail and absentee ballots before Election Day, require curbside voting options for people with disabilities, and set up early voting in 2025. Republicans are in favor. The bill establishes a new timeline for elections administration so that the counties can focus on one major piece of an election at a time. First, voter registration, then mail-in ballot requests, then mailing out the ballots, then early voting, pre-canvassing, then election day. Many Democrats are taking a strong stance against the bill. They say they're not in favor of the proposed voter ID requirement and earlier deadline for voter registration. Local Democratic Representative Pete Schweier says the legislation does the opposite in ensuring everyone can exercise their right to vote and says anyone who voted for it should be ashamed. Lehigh County Executive Phillips Armstrong says the bill takes away the county's ability to respond to the community and burdens them with unreasonable and unnecessary work. The bill will now move to the Senate. Now, even if the bill also clears the Senate, its fate remains up in the air. Governor Tom Wolf has indicated he's opposed to the bill, which means a veto is definitely possible.